I'm Charlene James Dandan. I come from the Philippines. I came in Israel in the year 2000. Uh, my parents, I was born in one of the city, a very interesting city in the Philippines. It's a city composed of Muslims and Christians, but the Muslims are more dominant, but I'm a Christian. Uh, my father is a politician. He's a former mayor in Cotabato City, in the place of the, Mos in the, place of the Muslim. I graduated in the year 1990 with a, with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Biology, a preparatory for medicine, in one of the pre prestigious schools in Davao City, the Davao Doctors College School of Medicine. Before I made the Binibiling Filipinas Israel, way back in the Philippines, I did a lot of beauty contests uh, in Cotabato City where I live. I made the Binibining Cotabato, and it's like similar to the Binibining Pilipinas. Then when I was in Israel, uh, at first, I'm just an ordinary like the other foreign workers. But in the year 2006, I started with uh, a muse only in one of the basketball tournament here in Israel, competing with girls, and I won the contest. Since then, uh, the magazine, Manila Tel Aviv magazine, a, Filip a Filipino magazine here in Israel, uh, interviewed me and asked to be the choreographer, a judge, and at the same time made the Manila Tel Aviv top model that is a, a, a fashion show, a modeling contest. I, made, I, I organized that one, and then later on I was exposed by the Filipino community. They recognized me wherever I, where, wherever I go. Then I decided... Uh, but prior to the Binibini Filipinas, I'm also a beauty queen in Israel. I, I joined the contest for the, for the, it's for the gay. And then, that is in the year 2007, when I won the Queen of Asia Israel, uh, competing, represent, representing Philippines. Then, I decided uh, to continue to share my talents to the Filipino community, and not only to the Filipino community, as well to the Israeli. Binibining Pilipinas is a competition of young Pilipinas here in Israel. This, this is an Israel chapter since there is really a real Binibining Pilipinas in my country. That is the most prestigious beauty contest in the Philippines. We have a lot of different beauty contests in the Philippines, but Binibining Pilipinas, th this is the contest like the Miss Philippines, where we have to choose the Miss Philippines Universe, Miss Philippines World, and Miss Philippines International. <laughs> In the Binibining Pilipinas, the girls must project really the definition of a woman, a woman with substance, a woman uh, that looks like a Filipina, talk like a Filipina, walk like a Filipina, with, uh, with the gestures of a Filipina. Those girls really uh, undergo a series of interview. Some, they re, uh, yes, yes, with me, to qualify to be one of the finalists of the Binibining Pilipinas. Okay, yeah. What do you ask them in the interview? Yes. What do you ask them? No, I ask about the country if, and then about themselves. But mostly, uh, to select the finalists for the Binibining Pilipinas Israel, the first one, you have to know uh, first the physical beauty, the outside beauty, but not only the outside beauty, but also the character of the, of the candidates. And then um, there is an age limit, of course. And then personality. And most, they can represent the city or let's say the city where, they came, where she came from in the Philippines. 
and she knows, and the most important, she really knows about Philippines culture, because this is a beauty contest with a purpose. We have to make charities that we have to help. We have to go in the hospital. We have to help the foreign workers also who are in needs, and then we have to, how you call it, to gain to solve the tickets that we can gain money, and that money will be sent in in my country. And yeah. The money will be sent back to the Philippines. Yes. Who needs help? Yes. And also, not only in the Philippines, but also here in Israel, foreign workers who are in needs, or like for example, who are in the hospitals. The most important for me, which I, I, I like it, and it so happened that I like also because I joined the contest also, like the Queen of Asia. Uh, it's a beauty contest from different nationalities, Nepal, India, and I represent Philippines. It's the national costume because it shows, for me, it's the national costume because it's showing the different costume of different countries in Asia. And I love it. I know how to carry our national costumes because like for example when I joined the costume I won the best in national costume because I carry it compared to other candidates. <laughs> the ethno modern that is the the costume and also the production number because the ethno modern it has something with why it's ethno modern it's showing the uh, ethnic different ethnic part of, of the Philippines yeah we have different uh, tribes and then wearing uh, the real Binibini Pilipinas, they must wear their original costume from different tribes, yeah. But what I did in the Binibini Pilipinas is that it's like a little bit modern. Yes, yeah, did. yes, yeah. Because that's the, the latest now. Not really the old one, but if you will see the old one, is more unique because you will see the costume in the Philippines, the original. <laughs> The Binibining Filipinas uh, receive, receive, of course, a cash prize that comes from the solicitation aside from the crown, sash, plaques, bouquet, and a lot of items, gift items also. Yes, um, that's, those are coming from the sponsors. Yes, yes, jewelries, diamonds. The, the winner uh, get a diamond, and then aside from the cash, and also I remember a crown, plaque, sash, and then gift items like beauty products. Yes, of one of the biggest company in Israel. I uh, I cannot remember already what company. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Philippines love beauties, yeah. So we have a lot of beauty contests and different titles of beauty. Uh, of beauty co uh, we have a lot of contests in the Philippines, different titles. But what I said, the Binibining Philippines, that's the most presti prestigious one. But actually, we can, I don't know how many, it's 100 titles of beauty contests what we are doing in the Philippines. Tell us about this place where we are now, the Takana Mercasit. Takana Mercasit? No. No, it so happened this 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 place is common for the not only for the foreign workers from uh, from the Philippines or from Asia, but this is the common one because this is where the where the center where the autobus uh, you know the, the Filipino foreign workers come from different cities in Israel. So this is the bus station. So every Saturday, this is the place where the like like yes, if you will not go for the taxi or the for the shirut. So this is the common one. And so, this is also the, the the this this the this is the reason also a lot of um, Filipinas or married and Israeli who have business in, here in Takana Mercasit for the purpose of no, what I said, this is really the center. This is the center. Yes. So this is also why you made the beauty contest here in the Tahana. No, it so happened, uh, we did in the discotheque, the, the Binibining Philippines Israel, because the sponsor is in, yes, in the discotheque. 
everything. And how did you choose the jury members? Who are the jury members? Some, they are really, uh, how you call it, um, trusted to be the judge. And then some are just comes from the sponsors because they are sponsors. And, but they know how, of course, they know how to judge because they are managers. Uh, one I remember in the pre pageant, she's a, she's a top model also. She's a model. And also in the final, she's an Israel model here in Israel. And then the manager of the beauty products in Israel. So she knows really the, what's really a beauty of a Filipina. And uh, I remember the question and answer was also a very, very important part. Ah, yes, of course. That's, well, the, that's the most important because to be a beauty queen, it's not, a beaut it's not only to be a beaut uh, beauty from the outside, but also you must have brain to represent Philippines. But yeah, that you know how to you know how to talk if you are already in uh, how you call uh, talking with how you, how you call it with confidence. Yeah. So this is one of the very important uh, points where yes. the jury will make. You know? it's a decisive moment. Yes. And uh, some contestants couldn't even talk because they were very nervous. I guess. Yes, that's really a part of, uh, of a contest. Even in my contest before, also there are some candidates who doesn't answer and what's no, because you know it's it's maybe you feel tired, the ner nerve if you are nervous already, and then no. But for me, it's really that uh, the crowd because how many crowd thousands watching you, and then you are in front wearing sexy like the swim in the swimsuit, and then no, that, not only that one, the the crowd who are shouting. Yeah, because they are they like you or maybe they don't like you. It's like that. So it's the, that's why prior to the contest proper, the candidates were trained to be to face in front of the public. Yeah. Do you remember in your competition where you were a contestant? What was the question and answer? What was the question mm. they asked you? No, I remember the question they asked me. Uh, what is the one thing that the Israeli must learn from the Filipinos? And, the, and what, are, what is the one thing that the, the Filipinos must learn from the Israelis? So I answered with confidence that comes from my heart. Because in the question and answer, it's not really you will memorize or you will think or you have to research, but it really comes from the heart. Because if it comes from the heart, you can answer prop nicely. I answered, uh, the, one th uh, the one thing that the Israeli must learn from the Filipinos is our culture and particularly the characteristics because it's only one thing so, so the one so i what i answered is about the character of a filipino a character of a filipino which is common we are hospitable or hospitality hospitality in the sense i make it short, a little bit short shorter that uh, because if i will cite an example like if we have a visitor comes from our country we really give importance yeah, the hospitality of Filipinos, we showed it. But what I answered that uh, the one thing that the Israeli must learn from the Philippines is that we Filipinos uh, give respect to the Israeli, we give to high regards to our visitors, we showed our hospitality to all, uh, Filip not only uh, for Filipinos, but to our visitors coming from different nations because that's the most important. And then the, the other one, the, the Israeli, uh, what is the one thing that you learn from the Israeli? I, I said that because I, I, it really comes from my heart that I, I came from a very conservative, like that's the reason, Binibining Filipinas, you are really a, lit, uh, a little, not so conservative, but really defines the gesture of a Filipina that you walk with poise, with elegance, like conservative, not like the, the, the other one that like, you know, now it's really different showing uh, a lot of nations like a little bit modern but the real filipina is like like our grandparents like our grandma yeah it's like that or in short really behave <laughs> yeah so here what you can get from the israelis is so Ali, no i said that at least in my life that i'm here in israel already uh my cons being a conservative is not so is a little uh, i'm not so conser conservative already at least a little bit, uh, not modern or a little bit liber uh, not liberated. I cannot explain it, but not really the, the, the real one that in the Philippines. Like, I re really like, I cannot explain how I will say it, but uh, school, and then 
finish school, go uh, house, like like that. Sheltered, like you are sheltered. Yeah, and here there is a little bit freedom, and maybe because my family is not here. But even my family is not here. Maybe I'm like this already because I uh, I'm I, I'm really conservative. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's the reason I really like in the house. You see now? Oh, look. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Why am I doing what time? Choreographing all the production numbers yourself. Yes. You did everything, basically. How yes. Did you cope with all this no, because if it's your, it's if you are really, if it's it really comes from your heart, it's really your talent, and you 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 really want to share your talent, you can do it. Yeah. Hello. Darling, may interview pa ako dito. Oh, sabihin ko na nga patapos na. Interview nga sa ano yung journalist na dumating nga dahil alam mo pa uwi na siya bukas nga ng Istanbul tapos pa papunta na rin ng Berlin till tapos na yung interview ko. Oo. Oh, oh. Andi, hindi pa ano na rin pa ipaano ko talaga tapusin na niya to. My friend they are calling me already that we have to start our meeting. We can do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Antayin niyo ako sana nga yung plot mo. Kasi nandoon na daw sila. You see, it's 8.5. Eight, eight, and our meeting is 8. Yeah. Yeah, because you know. That they will believe, take me in their apartment only outside. That they will, maybe I, I make alibi. I was asking you about the production yeah, number. Please. How do you No, the, the production number. Uh, when, I, when I made the, the beauty contest, the Bidi Bidi Pilipinas, I have already an idea how I will do it. Yeah. I, what I really want to show, in our words, the sariling atin, like showing the Philippines itself. Yeah, showing our culture in the Philippines, um, showing the different tribes in the Philippines, and then showing how the, Pili the Filipina act, the, the Filipina, how they will act and how they will carry their costumes, how they will dance, and then how. It's just like that, yeah. And how did you design the set? I mean, there were some set, uh, there was a visual no. in the back, there was... Uh, Actually, if you will really make the, the... If it's really more, how you call it, a bigger space, you will show the stage, like, the setting is more on the Philippines, the decorations, but it so happened, uh, you know, the place is a little bit... In this one, yeah. there was just a TV screen yeah. showing... No, it's there already. <laughs> it's there already. Yep, and I'm not the one who made the decoration in the final, only in the pre-pageant, but it's not really my idea because if I will make a beauty contest in a bigger sp space, look, like now, the Bidi Bidi Pilipinas now is really planned, we have our meeting, because we will do it in the auditorium and it's a big... Thousands of Filipinos will come because it's an organization already, it's not... That one is only Bahay Kubo with me, this one is an organization put by the Bismin, the Visayas Mindanao. One of the one of the organization of the Filipino community in Israel. My friend, in my friend, <laughs> they will get angry with me already. I'm so sorry, my friend. It's okay. Yeah, because I just.